Thank you very much, Madam Chair. It's a pleasure once again to see you again and be here in this, uh, this meeting room and, and welcome uh, the Minister from Croatia. It's clearly very impressive and you understand your topic very well. One of the, the things that I've brought up regularly in these meetings is the damaging impact of negative interest rates, both on the saving industry in Europe, which is an enormous asset pool, um, and also, I've had grave concerns about negative interest rates, both on the impact on the capitalist system and the signal it gives. Uh, as you obviously know, you need a cost of money in order to operate in a capitalist system. And what you're having is really two things happening. You're not allowing the market to clear. Certain companies are essentially becoming zombie, zombie companies, like in Japan. And also, it's not leading to risk-taking because banks are not encouraged to lend because they don't have an interest rate um, and a margin. We, we are living in unprecedented times right now where we're seeing a huge bifurcation in asset prices which are leading to asset bubbles. I have been, before I became a politician in May, I was, I'm a fund manager and investment banker. I will go back to that job in a week's time. Um, and so I'm, one of the things I'll be looking at uh, are the risk parameters within Europe. It strikes me, I hear a lot of intelligent commentary from members of the ID group and ECR about banking union, deposit insurance. One of the areas I, was, I wanted to ask you was um, in the European Stability Mechanism Single Resolution Fund, I believe it's around about 55 billion. If we do have another financial crisis, is that number big enough? I mean, what other things can one do to protect the European Union? Because as far as the UK is concerned, we do not want our nearest neighbour going through another 2008 financial crisis where you see vast deflationary and economic shocks, especially in the smaller countries like Croatia. And so it is imperative um, from my point of view and from my country's point of view uh, that Europe really doesn't rely too much or, or overly dependent on monetary policy now that interest rates are negative. And I put it to you in the last financial crisis, interest rates were around about 4 4.5%. So there was leeway to lower rates. At negative rates, there was nothing more to do apart from print money. And printing money is, is a delusional option, as you probably, I hope you agree with that. So it was, raw, it, you know, that's one of the, the main issues I have. And and I just want to get from, from, from you whether during your tenure as, as president of the council, whether you're going to promote what I would call a more free market option. So you're coming up with solutions such as um, that create more competitiveness, de deepen supply side reforms, incentivize people, incentivize uh, um, investment, and, take, and allow people to take more risk. And it strikes me that especially with the Green New Deal, and this is my last point, is that we're very reliant on what you would call, you know, deus ex machina, a gift from God, a machine of God to rectify the very, very slow growth of Europe. And it does concern me that that actually, the Green Project, does more damage short term, like we've seen in the German automotive industry, with 40,000 job losses already, before we get this benefit that we've been promised by advocates. So that's really the two issues I wanted to bring up. And thank you for indulging me and giving me three minutes 45.